Welcome to Rep Tech episode, I believe this is episode 2, I did a Rep Tech uh, video quite some time ago, and this is going to be another episode. This is where I do something that involves technology, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to install RAM into your desktop PC. The computer behind me is my gaming system, this is what I do all my video editing on, all my gaming, all that stuff. HD recording for video games, everything. This beast does it. I'm going to be upgrading 6 gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz memory up to 12 gigabytes. I'm also going to be installing a new hard drive as my current hard drive, which I bought in like 2007, is going out. So I'm going to do a fresh, clean reboot of my entire system and get everything up and launching fresh. Alright, so this is the full computer. It's very big. Uh, it's about, this is more than all, this is almost two feet tall. I don't know if it doesn't look that big from the camera, but this is my, this is the half X. This is the newest case from uh, Cooler Master. It has a gigantic 200 millimeter top fan, side fan, uh, front fan, which I just cleaned, um, a ton of drive bays, and has USB 3.0. Only a couple uh, desktop cases have that. But yeah, this is my system, and we're going to be opening it up which I actually have not dusted in here for a couple months, so it may be rather dusty. Let's see what we have here. Alright. So this is inside my beast of a machine. There's the power supply, Graphics card, uh, CPU cooler, this is the RAM, this is what we're going to be uh, working on right here. And hard drive stuff all in here, extra fan right there, and hard drives, yeah. This is, there's really not a whole lot to a computer besides your main motherboard, which is everything sits on and powers. This is the motherboard right behind here, which is con which this is connected to, and likewise the RAM and the CPU fan. So I just put this down, and as you can see, this is a much better lighting. So this is the system from a top view, and now there's lots of lights, there's tons of wires, hard drives, and right, basically, this thing right down here, this flat board, is what is known as the motherboard. And your motherboard is your main system of your entire computer. Everything connects to this. You have all your wires which connect and everything. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working right here and these are RAM slots. This is what you use for your memory of your computer. Now installing RAM is fairly, fairly simple. This motherboard actually has what is known as triple memory. In most motherboards they have what is known as dual channel memory, so basically you only have full four slots of put, to, put, put memory sticks in. However, this motherboard is an ASUS P558X Deluxe something something. It's, it's a fancy motherboard which requires i7 uh, processor, but this is actually triple memory so you have actually um, you actually so you actually have six RAM slots which can total up to 24 gigabytes if you so desire there's only six gigabytes right here the thing first thing you want to understand about installing RAM is when you install RAM when you go to install it always start with the second um, oh how do I explain this always you see there's a slot there's a slot right next to this never put your ram when you first install ram in your computer never put it in the first ram slot always do every other ram so you have one two three four five six you have six slots you always want to do the other ram you always want to do the second ram slot i don't know why this is but if you ins if you install this ram in the first slot and this first slot and this first slot your computer won't launch. I don't know why that is. If someone knows, please tell me. But for some reason, you have to install your RAM every other. So it's instead of, so so you install your RAM, the second one, second one, second one. Now, when you install additional RAM, you obviously fill up those holes. But when you first install RAM into your computer, you have to install it every other um, RAM slot. All right. So here's another RAM stick we have, and it's the same thing, same brand, Kingston HyperX DDR3, and we're going to be installing it within that first. Um, first uh, black uh, RAM slot right there as you can see. Now I've already done this but if you're new to build computer building always make sure you have, uh, if you're working with computer parts, make sure you have metal something that you can touch because your feet pick up what is known as static uh, electricity and if you're working on a computer from the carpet or whatever and you touch any component in your computer, anything, you will instantly fry it because you'll send an electric charge through your actual components and you'll fry them and then they'll be worthless and they won't work. Make sure you just have some piece of metal such as my 30 pound dumbbell which I use to get make sure I don't have any static so when I pl play with these parts I don't 
you know, fry anything with electric, with an electric surge. Anyways, I, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a small little wedge, right? You can see my finger, there's a small little, uh, like a, a wedge within the entire RAM slot. Now when you install RAM, you might, you very, you want to put that little slot right there, within there. You gotta line it up correctly, you gotta put it in right or it'll else you'll break this. These are extremely sensitive and it's important to not apply, it's important not to apply too much pressure or you will, or you can actually crack this, uh, barrier, which right here, and then you're completely out of the money for your RAM. So, as you can see, this is going to go right next to the first one. There's a black slot. I just, all you gotta do, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. This is gonna be somewhat difficult. There's a small little, see that little catch right there? That's what I have to get this end of this piece of RAM right there. I have to get that little thing hooked in that little white, right where that white square is, right at the end of that, there's the black. And this has to go like that. It slides right in there. These are automatic. Now, depending on what type of motherboard you have, um, some of these will automatically just, when you apply pressure, they'll automatically stick in. Like that. Perfect. That is the first RAM stick right there. So, let's do it again. Another one. Right in the middle. You want to make sure you get, um, zoom in. Voila. And you hear that little snap? That means it's in. And then let's do another one. I'm gonna get it right in the little ledgy thingy. That. Zoom back out. Push it down. Perfect. And voila! There we go. That is how you install RAM. Very straightforward. Now I have a total of 12 gigs, which will actually help me with rendering and more video gaming. Because when I usually run Adobe uh, CS5 Premiere, it sucks up about 4 gigs and only leaves me 2 gigs to actually operate on, which is not enough to do what I do. So, I hope this is a good upgrade. I hope you learned something. Now, important, when you're purchasing RAM, you always want to make sure... Now look at the camera. When you're purchasing RAM, you always want to make sure that um, that your that your motherboard um, can support your t typical RAM speed slash RAM memory. Every RAM you buy has a certain matter of speed or memory, such as 1600 megahertz, thir uh, uh, 1333 megahertz, uh, 900 megahertz. There's all different types of brand speeds, and you need to make sure that your motherboard supports whatever type of RAM speed you get. I believe it's RAM speed or is it RAM memory? I don't know. I don't. I'm not very. Um, I'm not very well equipped in my computer jargon. Although I know how to make computers, I just don't know the proper terminologies to use towards them. But yeah, that's how you install RAM. And let's install a hard drive now. All right. So we're gonna take out this the hard drive which is dying right now. Well, if it's not actually officially dead yet. It still works, but it's making really noises and it's actually freezing when I do video editing. So, let's take this thing out. Alright. Two clips of some sort. Uh, there we go. This is a 250 Western Digital, Western Digital Drive. Pull this off. So we're going to need to come off of here. Alright, so, I'm going to install a new hard drive, which is right there. This is going to be my main drive for um, my operating system, and I may put it video editing on that, I don't know yet. Alright, so I just put those side little clampies on, so we're just going to slide it right into here. Like that. Alright, so now we have, two diff we have several different connectors, and this is really straightforward. Um, this is your main power connector right here. 
So you can see that that little edge goes to like an L. It's like a super duper uber uber long L, and that's what we're going to place right on that. So that little L right there, just gonna put it like that, line it up, and press. Now that's power to the hard drive already. But now for data transfer, you have to have a SATA uh, three cable or just a normal. Excuse me, it dust is, whew. Um, this is a normal SATA cable. This connects to that little blue thing right there. That's um, for your hard drive. And then you just, uh, likewise, this has a small little L, as you can see, small L. And this also has another little L right there, which I connect it to. So. And voila, that's how you do a hard drive. Very straightforward, simple. Um, this is my other 90 hard drive, but I need to go get another SATA cable because I'm going to hook this up and have another additional drive. So, yeah, that was my short, small tutorial on how to install RAM and a basic hard drive. I know that wasn't, if you thought building computers were hard, it's really not. You just got to know what you're doing. So, hope you enjoyed that. So I just sliced my hand open. Um, right after I put, installed the, my RAM and hard drive, I um, went to dissect a Dell XPS computer we had sitting around because I needed to scour, scour it and scavenge it for SATA cables, hard drives, and most of all, a Blu-ray player. So now I'm installing a Blu-ray player in my um, computer. So it's kind of messy. Um, I recommend not doing stuff on the floor like carpet, but I've been just ripping this thing apart. All the cables, hard drives, and I'm going to be taking out this thing right here, my Blu-ray player, and install it in this thing. You can actually see the size difference between them. They're, they're rather, if I was to sit that up, only be like there. I mean, yeah, it's a lot bigger. But yeah, now I get to have a Blu-ray player in my room. Woo!